today on Be Something Wonderful. Move to your desired reality now. I am your host, Tom Kieran, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I had a great session yesterday with this client that said, Tom, I, I'm assuming my desired end, and I'm focused on it, but it, I really just seem, I just feel overwhelmed by my everyday problems. And it's hard not to, to it's hard to, to, to focus on my desired end, and at the same time, deal with these problems that, are, that feel very real to me in 3D. So guys, I want to talk about this today and more. And, and here's the thing. It's not so much that it's not so much that of the problems or the conditions that is holding him back, that is binding him to, to, to these problems. It's that he just won't let them go, right? He's holding on to them, right? Remember, when, when, when your problems let you go, when you let them go. It feels like those problems are holding on to you, right? That you're stuck, that you're bound by the conditions of 3D. But you're only ever, hear this, you're only ever bound by your thoughts and feelings about the conditions in 3D. That's so big. When your problems let you go, when you let them go. Let the thought of them and the associated feelings go. Wanting and needing something to change keeps you bound to the unwanted. Bound by old dead assumptions and beliefs, so an illusionary past. All of those thoughts and feelings are from old assumptions that you have about these perceived problems, right? These create thoughts and feelings. These old assumptions create thoughts and feelings of limitation and lack. Why you can't have or be what you want to have or be. Do you hear this? It creates thoughts and feelings and limita of limitations and lack. Why you, and these are reasons, these, these thoughts of lack, these thoughts of limitations become reasons why you can't be, do, or have what you want to have, be, or do. Fulfillment is always there underneath those dead assumptions of lack. Fulfillment is always there. It's not that you need to reach fulfillment, get fulfillment. It's already there. You've got to let go, or in other words, let your, when you let your problems go, they let you go, right? When you stop holding on to them. Let's hit this a little bit more. Jesus, in the resurrection of Lazarus, said, unbind him and let him go. That's your I am awareness to your thoughts of lack, limitation, doubt, and fear. That's your I am awareness saying, unbind him, let him go, right? Let, that, that, let, that, let you go from those thoughts of lack and limitation, from those dead assumptions. I like dead wrappings covering up your natural fulfillment. That's what's happening here. Those dead assumptions, those dead thoughts are like the dead wrappings of Lazarus covering up your natural fulfillment. Remember, Lazarus was raised from the dead, but he still had the dead grave clothes on. He was wrapped in dead grave clothes. He was still bound, even though he was alive in 3D reality, hear this, he was still bound by his old dead assumptions, his old dead thoughts. He was spiritually dead, but physically alive. That's what we're talking about. <clears throat> your natural divinity, your inner power comes when you drop those dead wrappings that are covering you up. You're bound to current 3D conditions, the script when you try to manipulate, change, and fight against it. That's what we learned yesterday, right? He was trying to fight those conditions, manipulate reality, change things without changing the underlying state of consciousness, without dropping or, or stop holding on to those dead assumptions and those beliefs, those dead wrappings. You believe you are free to move, but your struggle binds you to it more. So you believe you're free, right? You said, you know, you're dealing with your problems. You're trying to solve them. You believe you're free to solve them, but you're really bound to them. And that struggle binds you more to them. Lazarus, physically alive, but dead spiritually, bound by grave clothes. Really good example. I've talked about Lazarus now in, in several videos. This is what Neville Goddard says. Your life experiences are determined 
by your assumptions, whether conscious or unconscious. Your assumptions, what are you assuming? Because if you assume your desired end and you focus on that, all other thoughts and feelings will coalesce around that. Your life, your 3D reality will coalesce around that assumption. Let go of the world. Let go of the script and those dead assumptions by focusing on your desired end, what you desire now, a new assumption, right? That's why the current script that's in this film world that you chose is binding you because you're trying to fight your way out of it. You're trying to manipulate and change things, right? You move to a new script or in other words, a new future, even though we know the past, present, and future are all happening right now, by assuming, claiming, and occupying it. An assumption, this is what Neville Goddard says, an assumption builds a bridge of incidents that leads you inevitably to the fulfillment of itself. It fulfills itself when you move to that desired end, when you assume it, when you imagine it, right? And persist in that image, and persist in that imagined end. An assumption builds a bridge of incidents that leads you inevitably to the fulfillment of itself. It fulfills itself. That's big. Alternative or parallel realities, film roles, or lifelines, as we've talked about, are infinite in number. So you have alternative or parallel realities, film roles that we've called them, or lifelines. Imagine all of these film roles uh, side by side uh, with all the frames of every event there ever is, was, or ever be. If you had a higher perspective, you would see it all. You would see all these realities, each with its own unique script, each of these realities. Each of these film worlds or lifelines has its own script. The scripts are written and can't be changed within each reality or film role. That's why it, sometimes it feels like fate, that your fate to have, it's fate to have these problems. It's fate to have a life that doesn't work out for me. It feels like fate because you're, you're trying to change a script in a, in, a, in a film role that you chose. You cannot change that script. You, what you can do is select or choose a new film role, a new lifeline, a new reality. How do you do it? By assuming your desired end, by imagining your future, by lighting it up, right? You change scripts by choosing a new reality or film role. You choose by assuming your desired end, the law of assumption. <clears throat> the past script has no connection to the present or future unless you assume it does. <clears throat> so you're in a script and you're even you're even struggling against it. It's already past. And all your assumptions are based on that script and other past scripts, right? Other things that you're struggling against. They have no connection to your present or your future unless you believe it does. That's why you feel stuck. Your assumption places you mentally, imaginatively, and energetically where you're not physically. Do you hear this? So when you make a new assumption of your desired end, of your desired reality, it places you mentally, imaginatively, and energetically where you're not physically, and then you must be moved there. So let's hit this a little bit more today. You are assuming and imagining. What are you assuming and imagining? That was my question for my client yesterday. You have these, uh, these realities. All of these lifelines exist. They're infinite in number. You're here. This is your past. Right? This is your present slide or the present frame of your life. This is what you're imagining. What are you imagining? Are you imagining the happy reality of that assumed end, what you really want? Or are you imagining your problems? Are you holding on? Do you feel bound by 3D conditions and bound by 3D circumstances? Because that imagination determines where you're going to go. What's your next script? What reality are you choosing next? Each reality has its own script. But you're, in this slide, you're trying to fight against the script. When you do, you move to a more unfavorable reality. Do you see yourself here? If you're imagining that, you move here. If you're imagining that, you're assumed end, you moved here. So here, you're connected to your desired end, right? You're happy. Here, you're connected to your old dead assumptions in, in, based on an illusionary past. See the green line? is that that's where you move to based on old assumptions, based on these perceived problems that you feel stuck, that you can't, based on what you, you feel bound by current 3D conditions, right? Remember, the blue is the current frame. It's the current lifeline or film role, right? The, the, the pink, 
the, the violet, the dotted lines, that represents your future frame or assumption of desired end. And this dotted blue frame represents the current frame of the future lifeline or future film role. It's either, it's either what you want or it's the unwanted. So what kind of place or future frame are you preparing? As Jesus said, right? I, I go and prepare a place for you. What kind of place are you preparing? Because that determines your future. <clears throat> And this is what Jesus said. In my Father's house are many dwelling places. I go to prepare a place for you. John 14, 2. What is the Father's house? The Father's house is infinity, the quantum field. All there is, it's that unconditional awareness. It's pure potential. Everything exists. Every possible reality, every possible scenario exists in my Father's house. That is God. That's unconditioned. That's a unconditioned awareness. That's the quantum field. That's infinite intelligence. It's all there is. That's your divine imagination. And then the dwelling places are the mansions or the number of film roles, lifelines, certain realities, or states of consciousness that you can choose. Right? Many dwelling faces. And that unconditioned consciousness are many dwelling places, many mansions in my father's house. Or in other words, many states of consciousness, many alternative realities, many film roles. And remember, each film role, each reality, each lifeline has its own unique script. So if you want to change the script, you change the lifeline or the film role or the reality. How do you do it? By imagining your, your wish fulfilled, by imagining your desired end, by focusing on your desired end. I. I, here, I go to prepare a place for you. I is your imagination, your higher self, that larger you. It's that I am awareness, that human imagining within you. That's the I. I go to prepare a place for you. I, it's, it's conditioning awareness. It's that conditioned awareness. You're now going to go condition a place. You're going to go in your imagination where you are not physically to, to where you are in your imagination, where you want to go. I go to prepare a place for you. You, the 3D you. Right? That's, that's when you assume and imagine your desired end. That's big. So, if I go and prepare a place for you, this is Jesus, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Wow! As you illuminate the future flame, frame and assume your desired end, your higher self goes to the future. That I am awareness goes to the future, here it is, and prepares the place. There you are in the current frame. Your I amness goes to that future frame, prepares a place. Because there's no separation as you persist in and return to your desired end. As you light up that future slide, you fuse with your higher self in that new reality. The 3D you is moved by divine will, right? Across the bridge of incidents, to your desired end in new reality. Your future you, you fuse, I come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, your I am, your I am awareness, there you may be also. You fuse, a 3D you fuses with that higher you. Wow, that's big. So, and, and Jesus says it, not my will, but yours be done. Not my will, but yours be done. Right? That divine will moves you as you persist in and assume your desired end. Re you return to your natural fulfillment. Even as the temporal thoughts of fear and doubt come up, your higher divine will will prevail. Do you hear this? So as you assume your desired end, you're returning to your natural fulfillment. You're dropping those full, false dead wrappings, death wrappings, right? Dead wrappings, those dead clothes that's covering your natural fulfillment, right? Those dead wrappings of Lazarus are lack in limitation. They're not really who he is. You just got to let those go in your natural fulfillment. Unbind him and let him go. Stop holding on to your problems and thoughts of lack. Drop the grave clothes in your natural fulfillment. It's really what we touched on yesterday. And divinity will move you to your desired end. That Imagine the view that divine will will move you to your desired end. Go, and it shall be done for you as you have believed. This is in Matthew 8, 13. This is in the centurion, right? Assume and imagine, right? This is how you move to your desired reality now. It is done for you, through you, by you, through that divine you. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself.
Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. You can follow us on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful. We have a Facebook group called the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors. You can find us there and join. It's an open group at, at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. Or you can visit our website anytime, which has all of our information, all of our links, all of our social media. It has information about the coaching, everything you could want uh, at tomcaron.com or be somethingwonderful.com. Until next time, creators, with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, see you soon.